The second movement of the Mass, call to worship. In the words of Mr. Marsalis himself, it's almost like someone standing in a field with the voice of a trumpet, calling out to the people that it's time to officially come together for this service to worship God. God is great and greatly to be praised. Worship the Lord in the beauty of you'll find in the call to worship the opening solo in the tenor voice has a very interesting or some would say weird intonation. Mr. Marcellus wrote it this way, God is great and greatly to be praised. So it's not a particular pitch being E natural or E flat, but he almost wants the singer to exist in between the two pitches. So God is great and greatly, no, God is great and greatly, in between. God is great and greatly. Give another example of that, Caleb, please. God is great and greatly to be. Yes. Isn't it very interesting that Mr. Marsalis would have the alto voice, who is always going to be higher than a tenor, baritone or bass voice, to have a solo after the tenor sings in the upper register, even above the passaggio. But the alto voice is very low in the key of E flat. Nicole? Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. You'll find here an element that Marcellus uses constantly in the Abyssinian Mass, where notes are slid up to the pitch. It's not, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, but worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Pay attention to the instances where the voice many times will mimic an instrument. Call to worship. <laughs> 